Hey guys, Ian, the master of pieces here, part-time eBay reseller. I'm going to do a two-parter this weekend because it's bank holiday. The first video, this one, I'm going to show you lots of stuff that I sold on eBay, but also my trip to the boot sale. I picked up a fair bit of stuff that I'm going to resell on eBay for profit. And then the next video, it's going to be a bit of a mix mash of things. I've got some more eBay sales to show you. I got a Facebook marketplace pickup and I'm also going to go up to see Connor the Welsh poker picker again, do a little bit of a trade. So there'll be a fair bit going on. Key thing, hit that subscribe button. So then after this video, you'll know exactly when part two comes out. Let's get on and see some eBay sales. Thumb Friday, I only sold two things. So let's go and pick them. The first one is in the Transformers box. I only picked this one up a couple of weeks ago in the charity shop. This guy is called Thunderhoof. Just doesn't really fit my collection. Bit plasticky, not much going on with it. It's only a simple Transformer, one or two step changes. Yeah, had to let it go. £6.50 plus postage. And the next sale is that Adidas box there. That is one of those like inflatable like gym balls. I'm not going to get it out because it's got a bit of stuff on it. I've had that for ages, and it has sold for 15 quid all in. Pretty easy night for a Friday night packing, isn't it? Right, it's 11 o'clock Friday night. I should be up in bed, because I've got to get up early tomorrow to hit that boot sale. But I've had a really nice sale come in, and I want to post it off tomorrow morning, because if I don't, it's going to have to sit around, because it's bank holiday Monday, isn't it? It'll have to sit around to Tuesday. But I saw my Alpine Star Tech 7 motocross boots. I picked these up at the boot sale actually for £20. They are American size 11, really nice boots. I had these listed up for 110 quid all in. I've had loads and loads of offers ranging from 70, no less than that, let's be honest, ranging from about 30 quid up to 90 quid. But I priced them 110 because I wanted 100 for them. They've gone for the full price. They've gone for 110 quid. Really, really pleased with that. What a great way to finish off the week and kick off the bank holiday weekend. I've got to show you this because it is so satisfying. I do love recycling all of my packaging. This is an old Amazon box. And you know when you find a box that is just the perfect size. Look how snug those boots fit in there. That has made potentially a difficult item to pack really, really easy. Just love it when that happens. I've only gone and slept in, haven't I? Not the end of the world, it's half past six. It's not the busiest boot sale at early doors anyway. But we're down here. I'm excited because I haven't been down here for about a month actually and I've missed, missed a fair bit going on. Shout out to the luxury pickers. They came down here a couple of weeks ago said it was hands down the worst boot sale they've ever been to. Well, <laughs> I mean, I've, I've not done too bad down here but I guess we're looking for different types of items. Anyway, let's get in there. I'm already late enough. Let's find some bargains. Audi racing scale electric, have a look at that. Cars are there and everything. Yeah? It's yeah. all work? Yeah. I, I love a scale electric set, me. How much are you selling it for? 20 quid. Let's have a look. God, the controllers, look at them cars, they're good. I went to work with them last week. It won't work. I got my spot and it used to be good. But the, I left Bristol in the sunshine, but I'll see. And, um, bushes are gone on the cars, look. Cars ain't got any bushes on it. The, it's not a ski electric sport, it's a different type of track. I'll leave that way. I'll leave that way. Hey, how's it going? Nice to see you. How are you keeping? Alright. Yeah. Good, yes. Bit of a mix today, isn't you? Yeah. As always. Come on, yeah. look at them. I, I, I just had a look at them night winds, but it looks like the back's coming off of them. Yeah, it's not very good quality. Yeah, that one too, there, coming well, off the yeah. back, is it? You can have them if you want to freeze, you want them? I'm alright, you know. No, it's, thanks for the offer, but nah, I'm, I'm all good. Well. Size six. How much do you want for that one? Yeah, go on. I'll, I'll 
I'll give you five for them. One's in there. I'll tell you off for now, right? I get them white shoes. They're, yeah. they're good shoes. And that game there. Um, Oh, for that one, six quid. You got any change on you? I haven't got any change at all. Well, I'll tell you what, um, is it alright if you just keep 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 them in the back and then whenever I get some change, right. I'll, I'll, I'll um, come back and buy them. Okay. Alright. See you in a sec, alright? Okay. Take it easy, tell that. Selling the shoes for right? Uh, ten pounds. Ten for them. Ah, I'm all right. I'm all right. You know. No, thanks very much. Right, cheers. cheers. Xbox games two quid. Last time I put some games up on me, I missed half the half the good titles. Ryan from Redex Games come round and just sn snapped them all up. Job on him, mate. Ah, I'm okay, cheers. Nah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm happy to do a sensible job lot on him. Sensible right? job lot for him. I'm okay. I'm okay. Sell on, to be honest with you. Yeah, 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 yeah for those. Yeah. Ah, uh, nah, it's, it's okay, cheers, but thanks very much. Day. Yeah. The masterpiece. Did he? Yeah. Let's have a look through this box here. These are pretty decent, these. And it looks like we've got a fair few of them. After all of that, it looks like we've only got two complete ones. You get lost down there, can you? Yeah, you can. Yeah. How much are you selling all the figures for? Just the ones in the box? Um, it's these, that, this, these. That's their pound. They do a pound each. Pound for them. I'll just get them two, because those ones are complete. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. That's great. Look at that Captain Kirk there. Twenty two quid. Okay. Oh, yeah, how much are you selling the game people? How much? How much? 120? Yeah, it's been out my been out my price range. Well, I know how much they're going for. Yeah. I know exactly what they're going for. Look at that ET there. Cool, isn't he? How's it going, right? Alright, mate. Yeah. How much are you selling your ET for at the back? ET, two pounds it's brand new. Oh, I gotta give you two quid for it. Got it. You you feel right. Thank you very much. No problem. Excellent. All right, got him. <laughs> He's down here. Hey, mate, mate. How much are you selling them for? You can have the lot for tenner, four of them. Is that good? A lot, a lot for a tenner. How much you want to pay? Let's see. If I was thinking a fiver to be honest. For the floor, I'll tell you what, seven. It's not bad, it's a two seven. quid. Seven? The new paper cost me a pound. It would, it would, wouldn't it? Seven quid, it's a bag. Seven quid for him? Yeah. Let's go for it. Look who I have found here. <laughs> look at this. Well, look at you, your trolley. Talk us for your trolley, come on. Not my trolley. Well, my trolley, it's, it's ideal, mate. It's, 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 something, <laughs> it's something that, you know, you need as a reseller. Oh, wow. I need as a reseller, because it is. 
Come for that, yeah. Yeah, you, back, you, got, you got all sorts. Yeah, you got bur <laughs> you got a burger and you got a blooming coffee cup. I need a new cover though, because it's still fit. Oh, your cover didn't even fit. But yeah, you, hey, you are looking the part with your trolley, I tell you. Oh, that's back. Yeah, and look, you go. filled it up as well. Yes, yes filled it up. Jordans, vans, you have been clean enough today, my friend. Oh, yes. Love it. <laughs> Let's keep going. Watch out. Trolley coming through. Broke down there. Yeah. Uh, classics. They, they're all a bit worn on the bottom. Spoon. That's what's that's what's attracted me to this. That's stamp. Let's see what we can get her for. Oh yeah, how much for that one? There's a plate in there. A couple of quid. Thank you very much. This is an absolute free for all this is here. Eh? All of this stuff is usually really cheap. A few board games in there. Nothing jumping out of me. And is it time to go wading? Should we go wading in there? Nothing is massively jumping out of me. Let's go there. Now let's go. I might come back in a bit. Cardiff Blues pink jersey there. Size large, these do pretty well usually. Oh yeah, how's it going, right? How much? Yes, I'm fine. How much you sell your rugby shirts for? Three quid. Yeah, three pounds. Yeah, that'll give you three quid. Here we go. That's great. Thank you. Three quid for a blues, pink rugby jersey. A deal. How's it going, right? Yeah, I'm all good. I love these like Corgi HGVs. Yeah, they're cool, They are really good. And you got a Yorkie one there too. Look at that. Yeah, that one's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Um, how four, much are you selling four, them for? Four quid each, is it? I do seven for both. Seven for the both. We'll do five for the both. Three quid each. Yeah. yeah. No, that, that, that sounds good. Yeah, no you got I've it. Seen, I've seen one yeah, yeah, you see. It. <laughs> That's what I'm doing here now, Liz. Morning. Morning. You okay? Yeah. How's it going? And you? Yeah. Good. Cheers. Quite nice, isn't they? Mike Phantom. Can't see the <laughs> can't see the label. I leave it. How much are you selling your uh, boots for? Which ones? Are? These these Nike ben, ones. Ten now. Tenner is it? There's nothing wrong with them. No, they, they're good boots, aren't they? They are. They're yeah. good neck and adult size as well. Yeah, I was thinking Phantom of. Ghost ones. I was thinking of five I was. Oh no. No good to you. No good to you. <laughs> no, probably no. do eight at least. Eight. 
Oh no, it's okay. It's all right. No problem. No, thank you very much. Tell them on, you know. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Honestly, I am. Um, yeah. Um, no, I can't get five, sorry. Yeah. You could put them on eBay for about 15. I know. So. I know. Why it's don't you just do that? Why don't you sell them? I know. I might just like, take a picture of them falling down here. Yeah, yeah. Them yeah. On, yeah. Stick them up there. <laughs> Stick them up. Hey, thanks very much, anyway. And I put them. Yeah. How much are the shoes on top of the car, those white ones? Oh, they're, they're 20, they're young, the moments. Yeah, you've still got the box, haven't you? Yeah. So, and then what about the, the caterpillar ones next to them? Oh, oh no, they're not caterpillar, Timberland yeah, ones, aren't they? Timberland. They're yeah, 20 as well, are they? Okay. Oh, that's great, thank you very much. He's happy in there, isn't he? Box Thomas the Tank Train's here, isn't he? Yeah, it? yeah, but I want to set it all complete, right? There's 10 for the lot. Good. 10 for the lot? Yeah. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tenor for the lot? Yeah. I'll give you a tenor for the lot. You want me more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. have to go with it around my head. Oh, is it? Oh, for truck. Do you want to carry the gun or what? I'll stick it in this boot bag. Here we are, look. That's easy, isn't it? Doesn't matter if the box is broke then, they just, no, just no. chuck them all in. It's been a while. It's been a while. Ian, the track master of pieces, is back. Missed it. I've missed it. How oh, nice, isn't it? Size tens. Yeah, I was just trying to just look into yeah, to have a look. Oh, size ten. You got size ten written. Yeah, I think I'll leave those ones. <laughs> Look at these. Yeah, nice and they. How's it going, right? Uh, oh, swell. Swell. <laughs> Good stuff. How much are you selling the shoes for? Uh, they vary. Those ones, a couple of quid. A couple of quid. Ah, oh, they're a bit. <laughs> gone a bit. Gone a bit around the thread today. today. Quid. Yeah, they're nice though. Give us a quid for them if you want. Pound for them? Yeah, go on. Then. Yeah, yeah. How you doing, pound? Just about covering the pitch. <laughs> they have pitch fees sorted. <laughs> nice job. Look at that. Look at that old iMac over there. That monitor. Where did you find that? That, I uh, had that there for work basically. Yeah? Yeah, I've actually quite a few of them. Have you? Yeah. How much are you selling them for? Um, I'm not sure, I'm waiting for people to make me some offer. Yeah? It wouldn't be much. No? Have you got any leads for it or anything no, like it's that? It's just a kettle lead. Oh, is it? Yeah, I just have a kettle lead. Uh, power's up. Whether it's working or not, I couldn't tell it's, you. It's mega that. retro, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, they're quite nice yeah. objects anyway. Yeah, they look cool. I mean, what, what roughly were you thinking? Well, I like, what's, what's not much? I've I no idea. Ten. But then make me an offer if you like. I was thinking a fiver. What about meet me in the middle? Yeah? Seven. Let's do it. Go on then. Seven. Seven. So that's it. I think that's me done. Picked up a nice variety of stuff and I think it's always worth trying to find something that you haven't picked up before. Summit to do a bit of research on and this is it for me an apple imac i need to find some leads make sure it works but pretty excited about that one yeah should be good fun right let's get back to the garage and see what else is sold on ebay so the big listing binge i had monday night and all the listing i did wednesday when i got back from the charity shop has really helped peak my sales and pick them back up for wednesday and thursday i got tons here must be 15 or 16 different sales but before I show you any of these right there's been a great few comments on my last videos particularly around accepting reasonable offers a lot of you out there now rather than sticking to your guns and hoping for that top top dollar are starting to accept more offers and that is really helping with some sales so out of these I reckon 60% of them are offers now, whether that's offers I've sent or people have made me offers, and I think that that sums up my average. 60 to 70% of all my sales are because of some type of offer, and I will talk you through what offers I've accepted and why. So, first sale actually though, this was for full price. 
And these are two little Star Wars Kenner spaceship guns. Now, I've sold off two big spaceship sets before, and these were just left over because they weren't part of the set. Now, those two together, paired up, have gone for £20 all in, and I'm finding rare accessories that are official, not 3D reprint prints, can be worth a lot of money. You know, think about it. If you're collecting toys or whatever, these things don't tend to get lost. What gets lost is this type of thing. So there's always money in these type of accessories. 20 quid for those. Good start. Next up, this one I took an offer on. What we've got here is a working Panasonic cassette player, but doesn't have the cover on the battery pack. I paid a pound at the boot sale for that one. Had it listed for £8.50. Someone offered me something like four quid. So I just counted £7.50 and it sold to that same guy, £7.50. Nice quick flip, bit of profit in that. These went for full price. Got a pair of Wallace and Gromit kind of toast holders at the back, but they are egg cups. They are pretty old school. Kingsmill they've got on the side. I paid a pound fifty for the pair at the boot sale. They've gone for eleven pounds plus postage. Next up, this one I took an offer. What we've got is a Sherman tank kind of. It's not really a diorama because that's 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 it. I think it's by a company called something like Salido. So what I did was I unscrewed the tank from the base, had a look on the bottom. There was a brand on there. I was able to identify it. That one has gone for £10 plus postage. Took an offer, had it up for 11 quid. Someone just knocked a pound off. You're going to accept that, aren't you? Next up then, we have got a Ben 10. This is called a creation station. I took a complete gamble on this. I saw it in the charity shop for three quid. I shook it. There's figures in there. I've actually counted them more, looked at all the pieces. It is 100% complete. I haven't even tried it. Don't know how it works, but all the knobs turn and all the things do what they should be doing. Paid £3 for that one. That one sold for £18 plus postage, full price. Next up, I'm not going to include this really as taking an offer. I want to give a shout out to Ryan Marsden. Ryan, you've bought a load of stuff off me actually, and I really do appreciate all the support for the channel. So Ryan picked up three Xbox 360 games. I only got that in the charity shop uh, the other day. Dynasty Warriors 8. But we've got a Transformers game and also a Lego Star Wars game. And also, check these out. Have you seen these before? I've sold 10 Harry Potter coins. Now, these are from the Philosopher's Stone. Can you just about see that? Not really. But these were released in 2001. And there was a whole set to collect. And there is 10 different ones there. And I know Ryan has bought them for... His daughter for her birthday. So, right, I hope she has a great day. And thanks again for the support for the channel and supporting my eBay shop. Right, next up. And actually, I want to talk about another comment I had on my last video. And it was about this set of golf balls here. I paid five quid for these. And some, I can't remember, the, I can't remember who it was, but someone messaged and said, paying five quid to resell for 12 quid plus postage is a complete waste of time. Well, look. Everyone's business model and plan is different. Remember, this is a hobby for me. I do this part time. My aim is to make £500 profit per month. Split that down, it's about £17 per day. If I can make £5 profit off of an item, I only need to sell three or four of those per day to hit my £500 a month. There is room for items like this in my business, and I will stand by that. Might not be for might not be room for in might not be room for everybody's business, but it is for me. Now, you saw me buy these Wednesday in the charity shop. I listed them Wednesday afternoon. They sold Thursday morning, twelve pounds plus postage. That's five pounds profit overnight. And what is it? One, two. Take them out the box. Photo the golf ball. Three photos. I'm packaging all of this stuff up tonight anyway. That's just going to have a bit of paper around that box. Address on. Doesn't take any time, does it? pound profit now the next sales all of these are shoe sales now i don't know what is going on but there's one two three about five different shoe sales and it's great because i'm thinning down my shoe pile there first sale check out these caterpillar boots here now i bought these for six quid at the boot sale and it, it was funny actually because i had them up and i was looking at them and the the lady said six quid i was like okay I'll give you six quid for them. And then she started going, I can't go any lower. Can't go any lower. Okay. I'll give you six quid. I can't do five. I can't do five. Okay. I'll give you six quid. Just sell me them for six quid. And 
Anyway, I bought them for six quid and they sold for 19 pounds plus postage. That was an offer. I had these up for 21 pounds. Someone offered me 16. I went back and said halfway-ish, went for 19. We went back and forth. These ones I sold, what I did, right? I bought a couple of pairs of Converse trainers for two pounds each. Now they're UK size two. I thought for two quid, can't go wrong, but there wasn't really any resale value. So I just bundled them together. So we've got two pairs of UK size two Converse. They're red high top. They're just low top, kind of a mint green. Had them up for a price, sent out 5% offers. Someone took it for £11.88 plus postage. So add 5% on £11.88. That's how much I had them listed up for. So yeah, solid sale. This pair of Vans deck shoes. I paid £3 in the charity shop. They were absolutely filthy. Stuck them through the washing machine, giving them a good scrub over. They've come up pretty well. That £3 has turned into £10 plus postage. And again, that's an accepted offer. I had these up for £12. Some would offer me a tenner. Let's get them out the door. These Footjoy golf shoes. I only picked these up when I was back in Gloucestershire visiting my family. I paid £7 for these. These are UK size 11. So yeah, good, good size. Pretty decent condition. A few scuffs. But yeah, you know what? Seven quid. Good price for a pair of Footjoys. They've sold for... No, not full price. I had them listed for £25 plus postage, took an offer £23 plus postage. So good sale. And these sold on offer as well. And this is the last item to show you. These are a pair of Gore-Tex Clark's shoes. They are just really, really plain. I can't remember what I paid for them. Five quid, six quid, seven quid, something like that in the charity shop. I had these up for £25 plus postage. Someone offered me £20. I just accepted it. I just thought they just... They're just too bland. Yes, they're Gore-Tex, but they just haven't got enough going for them. So, accepted the offer. So, all in all, considering I didn't have many sales when I switched my eBay back on, I am right back in the thick of it again. Loving it. So there we go. That's the end of part one. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and you'll know exactly when part two comes out. I'll catch you in that one. See you guys. Bye-bye.